This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So what are we talking about today? I got a little clip. Winter is here. I know I said I wasn't going to do one, but we are on part four. Listen, shout out once again to brother Kevin Samuels. May he rest in peace, but he said it, and it was prophetic. And it's coming true every day. And so I've got a video that really demonstrates what we're talking about. And I'm going to let you see it. I'm not even going to preface it. I'm going to let you see it. And then we're going to come back and cook. So let me go ahead. Let me share my screen. And here we go. Ladies, if you are ever wondering where the men is, and it's for my grown women who's looking for a grown man. Come on down to Home Depot. Um, I mean, you come around business hours and you'll be surprised how many fine, handsome, strong men that know how to fix stuff. You know, stuff you need done around the house. You know, even if you just meet you a little friend to help fix some stuff around the house. Come on down to Home Depot and you come during business hours, during, during the day. That's when the grown folks hang out. You know, make sure you got on something fitted. You know, let them see a little curves. And then that's when you play Play like you don't know what's going on. Oh, excuse me. Can you help me find the wood? I'm trying to build a shelf. And then, boom, he going to offer to put the shelf up. But that's just, you know, just giving y'all little pointers. Come down to Home Depot. Later. Now, let me stop sharing that. I'm going to point out something. Before I cook, I'm going to point out something. That young lady on that video was pretty. She's pretty. There are no filters on that video. She don't have hardly no makeup on. It's her hair. Her skin is flawless. It's pretty. She's pretty. She's actually naturally pretty. Why did I say that? Number one, because it's true. She is naturally pretty. Number two, that isn't helping her. Now, is it? Because she's naturally pretty down at the Home Depot scrounging for black men's four peas. That's what that's what's happening right now. And see, this video isn't so much about her as it is about a, a couple of different concepts. First off, we're down to hunting down men at the local Home Depot, Lowe's or Menards. OK. And it's it. It's, it's interesting how these women are now looking for men plus the expectation that they have for these men. So she's not just looking for men to strike up a conversation. No, she wants something. She wants something from these men. The thing that stood out for me was the assumption of a man's four Ps randomly. She assumed that if she went into the this Home Depot or whatever, and she's giving this advice to other women to do, right? If they want to find these men at these different places, they need to go to Home Depot. And what she's telling them is to do things or say things that will prompt a man, a random man that don't know her and she don't know him from nowhere, to start giving her four Ps, okay? Mainly she's talking about problem solving but i saw what she did there where's the wood like we understand what you're talking about right so she won't problem solving and procreation she won't solve four she wants some type of provision she probably wouldn't mind him paying for the materials that she quote unquote need the problem solving of coming to put up the this mysterious this this shelf example that we're talking about here let's just say so the problem solving of that helping her solve the problem in the store Oh, I don't know materials I need. So there he go, problem solving for her. Oh, you need this. 
you know, what you're trying, trying to do exactly. Oh, okay, well, you need this kind of thing. You do you got that kind of tool, and that's what you're gonna need. You know what? Why, you might as well let me come over there and do it. You understand what I mean? Because men, men will do that, or they used to do that. Okay. So she's looking for a random black man that she don't know and that don't know her to begin to give her four Ps. But what is he getting for these four Ps? And there we go. There we go. Here's another thing that it brought to mind. See, black women have always been accustomed to being able to get random black men to give them four Ps just because she was there, just off the strength of her existence. Coming in and, and he see or figure she might need some help. There he go trying to help her. So what that also says, though, is that it's a lie coming out of black women's mouth, a bald head lie, a no edges having lie, an edgeless lie coming out of their mouth about how black men always withhold their four piece from them, even in a family setting or whatever. But what this is saying is that this woman expects four peas, even in this climate where she's having to resort to going to a Home Depot and use that as a dating slash hookup spot, she still thoroughly expects four peas from a black man randomly. So if, if black men have not, if they've been stingy with the four peas, what makes you, what gives you the expectation that they're going to give it to you? How did you get that expectation? Where did that expectation come from? Because you don't just pop up with expectations. Okay. You, you get, you get expectations from past experience or the rumor of past experiences. That's where expectations come from, coupled with entitlement, because you think that you're owed something like that's why you expect it instead of it being, you know, something that you are grateful for, something that you're thankful for. If a man happens to give you one of his four P's randomly, like I, plenty of women can attest to being in places, needing help with a bag or something like that, struggling with a bag or struggling or looking confused or something like that. And a black man will come up randomly. They will. They'll come up randomly and they will ask if you need help. He immediately jumped into problem solving. Do you need help? Let me help you, sister, with that. Blah, blah, blah. So it's so they always giving their four P's actually randomly. This is what they talking about when they saying that they're pulling back from black women. We're going to stop. That's one of the things that we're going to stop as black men. We're going to stop randomly giving y'all our four P's because we randomly do it and you don't take it. You take it for granted. You don't not grateful for it. You feel like you're entitled to it. You feel like if we don't do it, it's something wrong with us. So we're going to stop doing that because you're just like a little kid, you're just like a little bad kid. So we're not going to keep on rewarding you for bad behavior. And that's what got black women mad. So, so winter really is here for black women because they using all of these unconventional tactics and really they not unconventional tactics. They are just unconventional for thoughts. Here's what I mean. Really, these are wife methods to become a wife, to go get a husband. Because, see, wives either are introduced to their husbands or they happen to run into them in their day-to-day when they're doing other things, i.e. not being a thought. So you might actually run into the man that eventually becomes your husband at a place of business while you were going about your day and you happen to meet him and you talked to him and struck up a conversation or whatever, whatever, and y'all realize that y'all was compatible it goes from there. Thoughts, on the other hand, have always tried to get these men from parties and clubs and anywhere where there was a party atmosphere because that's where you thought at. And always trying to get these men at these types of places. But the men that that typically frequent those places are not looking for marital relationships. They're looking for hookups. So that's what you be getting. That's where you get all your baby daddies from. All your baby daddies come from the hood. It come, they come from the block. They come from the club. That's where your baby daddies is coming from because 
the men that if they're frequenting them places all the time, that means that they're in the midst of hookup culture. They don't look for no wife because they know wives are not found over there. That's why you know that they're not looking for wives when they go over there hooking up with women because they know a woman that's a wife would never be caught dead in a place like that. So he don't get wives from over there. He know better than that. So when he wants to get a wife, he don't go over there. He go to other places, the school, work, place of business, get that kind of stuff. He don't worry about no thought, no club. That's y'all goofball be going to the club. Think you finna find your husband out of there. Goofy. That's not where you find no husband at. Okay. So like I said, wives are typically either introduced to their husband or they run into them. However, this one on this video is not even talking about being a wife. Notice she talking about going to find a man, but she didn't say nothing about being a wife. That's not what she said. She's not talking about being a wife and she's not talking about giving anything in return for obtaining a man's four P's and obtaining his essence. She's just going places, needing his essence needing his provision, needing his problem solving, needing his protection and needing his procreation, but just needing it and expecting him to give it to her for little or nothing. The only thing that she said that she was willing to give out of the situation was a little bit of visual stimulation, i.e. wear something fitting so he can see a few curves. That ain't nothing. That ain't no repayment for no four P. That's not what you do. That's not how you repay that. She didn't even say you was going to hook up and have sex with the man. She didn't even say that. She said, you know, show him a little curve with, with whatever little outfit you're wearing, look cute. So what we're still talking about is that selfish, still think it's a game, still think winter ain't coming, and still think that she's to, to be going somewhere to consume a man. This is what she's really saying. Go somewhere to where the men are so you can consume him. Without providing anything of value in return. We're not trying to be wives. We're not trying to be girlfriends. We're not trying to be dedicated. We're not trying to be loyal. We're not trying to be women of value. We're not trying to be lionesses. We're not trying to be help meets. We're not trying to be wives. We're not trying to be none of that. We're not trying to be any of that. We just trying to go somewhere. And this is supposedly an easy fix. To for lonely black women that don't know where to go get male essence from, that don't know where to get a, any even a semblance of masculinity, running around here thirsty as a dog for four peas that they are not getting in their normal day to day life because they strong and independent and they don't need no man and they done pushed all the men away from being all masculine. You're masculine with all the men. Now you need what masculinity brings which is those four P's. Now you looking and scrounging around for any old place you can get them, just in the gutter trying to get them, just anywhere, dumpster diving for four P's. And I'm not saying that the men at Lowe's are trash. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that the women are desperate is what I'm trying to say. That they'll go anywhere, they'll try to do anything, they'll be in any space now trying to get these four P's out of these men after decades of telling them they to need that. I'm going to need you to keep that same energy, sis. Now, now you see the value in what men bring only when you want to see the value in it. Only when you get thirsty for it, hungry for it. And you get your little taste and then you move on about your business until you run low again. And then now you want to, you know what I'm saying? You keep wanting the man to come top you off with four P's. That's what this is about. I'm missing the four P's. I need some man to top me off with the four P's. You know, just give me, just level me out with the four P's. And then I'll give him my butt to kiss again for X amount of time until I can't make it no more. And then I want four P's again. This is all this is because she didn't say nothing about what the return on the investment was going to be. She didn't say anything about, okay, when you get this man to help him, girl, this is what you do. You know, you feed him and you thank him and you this and you that. She didn't even say that. She didn't, even, she didn't even say what type of form of courtesy that you could give in return for this man coming through for you that don't even know you. Just come use him for his four Ps. Just come use, see if you can use a, a random black man for uh, his, his, his provision or his problem solving or his protection or his procreation. Just use him. 
Just use them real quick. Just real quick. It's pathetic. That's all I heard. And winter is not coming is here. Y'all better learn. They still think it's a game. Who else thinks it's a game is Black Lives Matter. And it's not. Because we're almost at the 10,000 signature mark. And we'll be releasing a press release soon um, pertaining to the Black Lives Matter petition and what we plan on doing and what we want. If you want to be part of holding Black Lives Matter accountable, please go ahead and click the link in the description box for the petition. Sign it, share it, and uh, contribute to it as well. Also, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.